Fluency Stables, and I am so sorry I have not posted in the longest time, but I decided to post for this special occasion because I got 100 subscribers. Yep, this was a while back, but I decided why not celebrate by doing a collection tour. So I'm going to try to fit this under 15 minutes, minutes, which I think is nearly impossible, but it's going to be a pretty quick overview, so let's do this. Hey guys, beforehand I apologize for the shaky camera and the horrible lighting, but this is on shelves, so I can't do anything other than that. But yeah, this is the horses, so we're going to begin. They are in families. So some of them are out on my farm, just keep that in mind. So first we have the, our Appaloosa little tiny colt. I named him, oh my goodness, I can't even name one name, Martinez, there we go. Then we have our Frisian family, we have Ribbon, Black Beauty, and Twilight. Nope, that's Midnight. And then we have Ebony. And then our Shire family, we have Butterfly, Buffalo, and King. Then for our Clydesdale family, we have Manly, um, Rose, no, not Rose, Clementine, there we go, Mocha, Clydesdale, and Bud. For our Tennessee Walker family, we have Vinny, we have Renegade, we have Walker, and Tyra. For our Tinker family, we have Cambridge, Gunther, Tinka, Spot, um, Pritzel and Revolver. For our Nab Stripper family, if that is how you say it, we have Miss Nab Stripper, Shadow, and Va- nope, Tash. Tash. There we go. Then for our Mini Shetty family, oh my goodness, there's a Shetland in there. How could I mess that up? Anyways, we have Little Cupcake, we have Nelly, we have Beatrice and the father, who is, I believe, Shimero. Something along the lines of that. Anyways, and here we have our Andalusians. We have, um, oh my goodness. I forgot her name. I know this is Ladies Abroad, though. Joel, Spirit, and Wendy. We then have our Shetland family, which we have Love, Ash. Whoa, I had to breathe. Um, Sweet Opinion, something. Strong Opinion, there we go. I had to think of Onion there for a second. Chester, Daisy, and Fiona. Then for our mini fell family, we have our beautiful Snowdrift and Thunder. Then for our Aquatiques, we have our Mayor Silk and our full Atari. So now let's go to the second shelf, and sorry for the rushing, this is going to be a big video. And oh, oh joy, it's darker up here. Go figure though. Yep, okay, so let's begin. I have some odds and ends here. So we have our Atlantics, we have Salt, Tarragon, we have Pagoda, we have Spice, and pepper. Then over here, oh my goodness, I'm balancing on my bed right now, guys. I'm balancing on my bed. We have our track hunters. We have Maverick. We have a full have not had a name yet for. I got him yesterday. Roadster, um, Pocahontas, and I think it's Lady Matrimony or something like that. Along the lines of that. And then we have another Icelandic hero, which I forgot to include in the family, which is Butterscotch. Who is Butterscotch? Then we have an odd and end full. We have Blue Samoan Brownie down there. We have our Lipizaners. We have Lovebird, um, Totalus, and of course we have our stunning, I included her as a Lipizaner, um, Lipizaner, something along the lines of that. We have our beautiful horse here, which also doesn't have a name. Most of these don't have names. Go ahead and suggest some if you can. Then we have our Mustang family. So here we have Tarragon. We also have Little Red Runner, I call him, because it's just a cute name. Then we have Clea. Then we have an odds and ends Mustang here as well, and his name is Twilight. There we go. Then we have our Halflingers. Whew, this is getting a long list. We have Carmella. Carmella, there we go. Pumpkin, Belle, and Little Tiny Buttermilk. Buttercup. Buttercup, there we go. We have our some of our Arabians here. We have Kyle, um, Roxana, Sham, and Lady. Then here we have our Hanoverian family, which is slightly large. So we have Snowflake, Harley, um, Mr. Thoroughgood, I believe, Clove and Ginger. Then we have our Fjords, and so we have Bob, we have Gal Charlie, and then we have Galaxy. Then over here we have our paint horses. So we have Montebello, Indiana, um, Prancer, or Dancer, one of those, one of those guys, one of those. Um, I think we have Dot and no, as a Polka. And then we have as in Polka Dot. 
Then we have Zumba. <laughs> okay, I had to keep on focus here. Here we have our Holsteiners. We have buttermilk and spurs. Then we come over here, and it is so hard to balance this camera. I am serious. We have our Dartmoors. So we have Lucy and our little one there, whom I also don't have a name for. We have our Ardennes, Ardennes, however you say that as well. So we have Bourbon, and we have little tiny Jackal. Then we have our odds and ends horses, I call, because they don't really have a speci specified family. But then now I realize that one does have a family, but it's down in the field, so yeah. So we have Rose, we have General, Bronco, Buck, Starlight, oh my goodness, Cedar. We'll go back there, we have our little tiny mini family, which is so far back there. Okay, we have a Claire, Soul, Buck, no, Spear Jr., and Einstein. Wow, okay, that was a big shelf, I have to admit, and that was super shaky. So, yeah, let's go down to our Bialas and Animals. So now we have a tad better lighting, even though it's like blue, so this is as good as it gets. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, they're all under shelves or something like that. But none of these have names, we just have um, the breeds, so I'll just tell those. So we have our Anguses, our Longhorns, our Highlands, our Holsteiners, and our... I can't remember the name of the breed. And we have our Yak. Yeah. We also have what I call Buttercup Cow, which is not the official term for it, but I bet some of you call her Buttercup. And then we have our um, Bull Riding Cow. We have some goats, some sheep, and then we have our dogs. We used to collect a lot of these, so we have several of them. We have our German Shepherd, German Shepherds and Shepherds. We have our... Whatever you call that breed. Sampanard. There we go. I am loss of words here. Our Dalmatians. Our Golden Retrievers. We also have our Huskies. Our um, Bernese Mountain Dogs. And our Great Danes. Then we have an assortment of rabbits. Which I like. And in the back there we do have hutches, wagons, canoes, and shelter. Okay. So here's kind of my America collection. We have our Crocodile, our Moose which I like to call a meese in plural form. Raccoons, we also have our hedgehogs, squirrels, bears, and yeah, that's my little American collection. Then we have our sea turtle, our sea lion, and our orca, as well as our birds. So we have ducks, geese, um, they're both geese, I just realized, wow, wow, I'm so shallow, okay. And also chickens, go figure. We also have pot-bellied pigs, and a little donkey there. Lots of pigs. I love pigs. So I'll meet you guys on the other side. Okay, here we have some better lighting. So we have our um, kind of African collection here. We have our giraffes. We have our pandas, rhinos, camels, um, monkeys. It's not a monkey though. I know it has. It's a gorilla. Gorilla baby. And then we have our kangaroo, our wolf, um, a safari LTD butterfly there in the back. And as well as some elephants. Then I have to do like a 360 here. Oh my goodness, save me now. Okay. And then we have a bunch of lions. So that's one out of the multitudes of little underground areas. So if you did not already know, I also collect knights. So of course I have all their tents. Um, I collected the yellow and blue ones, the white and red ones, and the white ones. So they're very fun. So we just have kind of a small overview of our collection. We collected over a period of uh, two years these nights because I went through a phase of them. Um, so, they're pretty good. Oh my goodness, I'm like sliding across the floor, guys. <laughs> you see, I have to slide all across that. That's a pain to slide across. Okay. Let's go to the other side. So now we just have some more. We also have lots of princesses and kings because what kid doesn't go through that phase? And then we also have some of the Indian sets because we had the canoe, so we thought we'd get a few of those too. And of course some knickknacks there. I have, as you can see, two boxes in the back there. One's filled with tack and the other is filled with kinetic sand. Which I don't know why I bought it, but I just bought it because I love kinetic sand. Sorry, that was really unnecessary. So now we have our Bayalas, and I do not remember any of their names, so I will just overview them because I don't remember any names. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, well, we just have an overview, and we will go into our crafting section after this. And I got some this Christmas, but I wasn't very happy with them. Mostly for the fact, because the moment that I chose them out, I was in the Bayala phase. 
And now I'm not. Okay, I'm on all fours, guys. Crawling through a tiny wall space. The struggle is real. The struggle is real. That was my thumbnail on my pet peeves video. So I'll meet you on the other side. So here I keep all of my odds and ends, like fences and weird little tables and stuff like that. And ribbon, which is in a wreck right now because I was too lazy to clean it up and I have lots of paint jars too. So yeah, that's kind of my little crafting area that I use and fake water in the background as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry it was so short, the lighting was not very good and it was pretty shaky. It's just because it's either on a shelf or it's down on the ground. So it's a pain to move around and get things there. But thank you so much for bearing with me these past few weeks with my sloppy videos. I will probably post a really official video soon enough. All of you were asking what Blue Ribbons was, and it was a series I was working on about nine contestants going against each other to see who's the best writer. But I still don't know if I should put that up, so yeah, I'm still wondering. I had a good intro, I spent like two hours on the intro, but I still don't know. Okay. Well, I hope you guys keep interested. Please give me ideas for a series down below because I had a few of you wanting to have a series as well. And I'm open to any ideas. So thank you and see you next time on Valencia Stables.